now primary memory is divided into two types ram raw what is ram and what is raw we will see ram is a random access memory and rom is a read only memory it is permanently some information is stored in that rom it will execute permanently but in ram when you open any movies that movie from the hard disk comes into the ram and from ram it will execute and it will display on your screen any photo you have to see double click on that photo which is available on the hard disk it will come first into the ram and then from ram it will execute and it will display on the monitor in rom already some company will write that data and it will store permanently on that rom now we will discuss in details ram random access memory it is used for holding the data temporarily while the computer is working its data gets erased when the computer is switched off the data is temporarily available in ram but when the lights goes off that data vanishes it is not permanently in that ram it is destroyed rom read only memory it holds the instructions given by the manufacturer to operate the computer it is a permanent memory there are three types of rom p rom programmable read only memory ep rom erasable programmable read only memory eep rom electrically erasable programmable read only memory now these three types of roms are available p rom the full form of p rom is programmable read only memory ep rom that is erasable programmable read only memory and ee p rom that is electrically erasable programmable read only memory these three types of roms are available and these all are primary memory in computer remember motherboard is the main board present inside the cpu box the cpu and other internal parts of a computer are attached to it now when you open the cpu box you see that one motherboard is there and on that motherboard different slots are there in that slots we see the rams your cpu socket is there in that cpu socket our main brain of computer cpu is present some wifi cards some graphics card slot is there in that graphics card is present ram slots are there in that rams are present if you are using the bluetooth that bluetooth card is available on the motherboard and this is the main board present inside the cpu box and some internal parts means some fan for cooling purpose is available on that motherboard some ic's are there one rom is there such as different tools attached on that motherboard secondary memory the secondary memory is used to store data permanently its data is not erased now this is the secondary memory we can store that data permanently on it it means that when lies goes off that data is not vanishes it will be there when you start once again your computer that data will be present on the hard disk in the compact disk blu ray disk dvd pen drive but in ram that data is comes from the hard disk when lies goes off that data will be vanishes once again you start your computer and double click on that movie that movie will comes into the ram and then it will execute and it will display it on the screen now we will see how that secondary memory works based even when the computer is switched off some commonly used secondary storage devices are as follows hard disk stores all the software and data it is fixed inside the cpu box compact disk is a portable device that stores large amount of data now compact disk full form cd c4 compact d4 disk its size is 750 mb it is portable means you can move here and there and it will store the large amount of data up to 750 mb in it 